Hey everybody, this is the librarian. Sorry I've been gone. Lots and lots of stuff, trying to do school, etc, etc. But um, today I've got a book review for you. It is Tangerine by Edward Bloor. It is fantastic. It's about this little boy who moves to um, Tangerine, California, and a series of things happen to him. He remembers stuff from his past because he's, if you can see from the picture, He's got these really, really super thick glasses he gets picked on for, and throughout the book it's kind of a mystery on how he got them because he remembers that he didn't used to have them. And he, um, so that's one thing. Another thing is that he picks up the sport soccer, and he's an excellent goalkeeper, and basically the book just revolves around him in school, middle no school type of area, um, and just the community in which he lives. And basically, it's how things from the past get dug up, exhumed, come back to haunt you sort of thing. It's kind of the, like, underlying theme of, of it all. Edward Bloor's writing style is wonderful. You can very much relate to the characters. It's just... It's just very, very good. It sucks you in within the first couple of chapters when I, I've read it a couple of times now. And both times it was extremely hard for me to put it down, which is funny because usually when I reread books, I kind of like skim over parts and whatnot, but I fully reread this one. And it's just, it's a very good, it's not exactly a coming of age novel. It's more him coming into himself and well I guess that is coming of age but it's mostly just him remembering things from the past the community dealing with things from the past that's gotten kind of bulldozed over sort of thing it's just the past coming back to haunt you and you having to confront these demons and whatnot but Tangerine Edward Bloor Fantastic author, fantastic writing style, wonderful book, highly recommend, definitely a 5 out of 5 stars. If you've read this book or you know anything about Edward Bloor, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. And until next time, good night.